Hi, I'm Daniel Franco and I'm the project manager for the Mars Rover. The University of Saskatchewan's space design team is a group of students focused on space related projects. I'm pleased to introduce our 2019 Mars Rover for the University Rover Challenge. The USST has about 15 rover members split into three sub teams, mechanical, electrical and software. Our electrical enclosure is built into the rover with a Kevlar lid and carbon fiber side panels to protect the electronics from the elements, such as dirt kicked up from the wheels and from moisture in the surrounding air. All of our electrical team members are skilled in soldering and constructing the many cables and connectors needed for our various electrical systems. As well, we also create and design our own printed circuit boards by using software such as KiCad or Eagle for development. We have two antennas for our rover, one running at 5.8 GHz and another at 900 MHz for distances of over 1 km for competition. And propelling our rover forward are six powerful Maxon motors for individual control in each wheel. By using two wide-angle cameras placed back-to-back -back and an Oculus Rift, we are able to see 360 degrees around our rover. And by using our powerful NVIDIA Jetson computer, custom obstacle avoidance software, and a Zed stereoscopic camera, our rover can autonomously traverse and reach waypoints via our Swift navigation system. We use an open source software called OpenMV for tennis ball recognition. And our custom built web UI will provide us with easy access to important information while in the field. The arm this year was redesigned while relying on some of the concepts we had proven with last year's design. The arm features custom cycloidal gearboxes that allow for custom gear reductions to meet the torque requirements required for lifting a 7 kg payload. It is constructed of custom 3D printed parts that we design and print in-house, as well as machined aluminum and carbon fiber pieces. The soft fingers of the gripper will allow for maximum grip and full control for fine manipulation. The gripper's wrist can also continuously rotate, so actions such as using a screwdriver are possible to do with this year's arm. The chassis of the rover is built from carbon fiber tubes and a Kevlar skid plate to protect the rover from impact from below. Our team has become very skilled in fabricating our own custom carbon fiber pieces for our suspension system and various other parts. These carbon fiber pieces make our rover light, yet very strong and resilient to impacts. For the wheels, we use a custom polyurethane tread inlaid with carbon fiber and Kevlar to maintain the tread shape. These wheels can climb hills at a 60 degree slope and also act as shock absorbers. With our triple bogey suspension system, our rover is able to tackle just about any terrain we throw at it. Our drill has been redesigned from the ground up, using a two-stage lead screw driven design to ensure penetration of pack soils up to a depth of 3 inches. The hardened steel sleeve ensures that rocks will not damage it and our sleeve and auger will pull dirt into the cache system to be analyzed by our in-situ science experiment. Our experiment for this rover design consists of an infrared reflectance spectroscopy system. We use a laser diode at 1550 nanometers and by measuring the light that's re-emitted by our sample, we can check for signs of life in the soil. Thanks for watching. We're going to be continuing to develop our rover and we hope to see you at the University Rover Challenge.